Hello, my name is Talha and you are watching informative things so Let's start our video in this video I will talk about the 7 things you may not know about the Sistine Chapel. Number 1. Michelangelo wanted nothing to do with the Sistine Chapel ceiling. In 1508, 33 year old Michelangelo was hard at work on Pope Julius II's marble tomb, a relatively obscure piece now located in Rome's San Pietro in Vincoli Church. When Julius asked the esteemed artist to switch gears and decorate the Sistine Chapel ceiling, Michelangelo balked. For one thing, he considered himself a sculptor rather than a painter, and he had no experience whatsoever with frescoes. Number 2. Contrary to popular belief, Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel in a standing position. When they picture Michelangelo creating his legendary frescoes, most people assume he was lying down. But in fact, the artist and his assistants used wooden scaffolds that allowed them to stand upright and reach above their heads. Michelangelo himself designed a unique system of platforms, which were attached to the walls with brackets. Number 3. Working on the Sistine Chapel was so unpleasant that Michelangelo wrote a poem about his misery. In 1509, an increasingly uncomfortable Michelangelo described the physical strain of the Sistine Chapel project to his friend Giovanni de Pistoia. I've already grown a goiter from this torture, he wrote in a poem that was surely somewhat tongue-in-cheek. He went on to complain that his stomach squashed under my chin, that his face makes a fine floor for droppings, that his skin hangs loose below me and that his spines all knotted from folding myself over. Number 4. Michelangelo's masterpiece has proven highly resilient. The Sistine Chapel's frescoed ceiling has held up remarkably well in the five centuries since its completion. Only one small component is missing, part of the sky in the panel depicting Noah's escape from the great biblical flood. The section of painted plaster fell to the floor and shattered following an explosion at a nearby gunpowder depot in 1797. Number 5. Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel art was touched up and stripped down in the 1980s and 1990s. Between 1980 and 1999, experts restored selected artwork in the Sistine Chapel, including Michelangelo's ceiling and his famed fresco known as The Last Judgment, which he created in his later years. Specialists meticulously dissolved layers of grime, soot, and deposits, substantially brightening the colors of the centuries-old paintings. Number 6. The Sistine Chapel ceiling's most famous panel might depict a human brain. In the section entitled The Creation of Adam, figures representing God and Adam reach for each other with their arms outstretched. Their almost touching fingers are one of the world's most recognizable and widely replicated images. Some theorists think the scene also contains the unmistakable outline of a human brain, formed by the angels and robes surrounding God. Number 7. New popes are elected in the Sistine Chapel. Built in the 1470s under Pope Sixtus IV, from whom it takes its name, the Sistine Chapel is more than just Vatican City's most popular tourist destination. In fact, it serves a crucial religious function. Beginning in 1492, the simple brick building has hosted numerous papal conclaves, during which cardinals gather to vote on a new pope. Hope so you enjoyed our video and please subscribe our channel to get latest videos related to history.